Hi there everybody, this is Ms. Nelson here, and today we are going to be doing Lesson 12.4 in our 4th grade Florida Go Map books. If you're in my class, you need your big book, page 457 and 458 to fill out while we're doing this. So 12.4 is all about customary units of liquid volume. So in other words, ways that we can measure liquids, so things that you can pour. We're just going to go ahead and read the page and fill in what we need to. Liquid volume is a measure of the space that a liquid occupies. Some basic units for measuring liquid volume are gallons, half gallons, quarts, pints, and cups. The bars below model the relationship among some of the li some of liquid units of liquid volume. The largest units are gallons, think of a gallon of milk. The smallest units are fluid ounces. Okay, so let's just look at this chart really quick. We see the gallons here at the top. For one gallon, it's equal to two half gallons, or four quarts, or eight pints, or one, two, three, four, sixteen cups, or eight times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, which is 128 fluid ounces. We've also got a nice little chart up here, too, that kind of breaks it down for you. One cup is equal to 8 fluid ounces. We can see that here. Here's one cup. And here's underneath it the same size, eight fluid ounces. One pint is equal to two cups. Here's our one pint, and it's the same size as two cups. And one quart is four cups. So here's our one quart, and it's one, two, three, four cups. So, first problem. How does the size of a gallon compare to the size of a quart? So we're looking at our gallon here and quarts here. So in other words, how many quarts is it going to take to make a rectangle that's the same size as this gallon rectangle? So they've nicely already drawn the chart for us, and we can see there's one, two, three, four quarts in a gallon. So we've easily just done that with counting the bars. Here they want you to work it out by drawing the bars to represent the relationship. So we'll draw what we saw up there. One big gallon bar is equal to Four quarts. Each of these are quarts. That's a QT. So if step two says shade one gallon on one gallon on one bar and shade one quart on the other bar. So if we were to color in this gallon, and if we were to color in this quart, we would see that the gallon is four times bigger than the quart. All right, so this chart is going to come in really useful for you during this lesson. So make sure that you know where it is and you bring it back to school tomorrow too. We're going to turn it over and fill out page 458 doing some conversions. Okay, on the back is page 458. And here is our first problem. Serena needs to make three gallons of lemonade for the lemonade sale. She has a powder mix that makes 350 fluid ounces of lemonade. How can she decide if she has enough powder mix? So in other words, it wants us to say if 350 fluid ounces is equal to or greater than three gallons. So we need to do a conversion here. So let's just go through the steps. Step one, use the model on the back to find the relationship between gallons and fluid ounces. It tells us that one gallon, 
that bar model that we saw on the other side is equal to 16 cups. And one cup is eight fluid ounces. So one gallon is equal to 16 cups times eight fluid ounces. So one gallon is 128 fluid ounces. So that's for one gallon. They filled it in the chart here for us. One gallon is 128. So if we had two of those, 128 plus 128 would be 256 fluid ounces. And then if we were to find three gallons, because that's what our question asks, it would be 128 plus 128 plus 128, or three times 128, which is 384 fluid ounces. So we're going to think what we need. She has, she has the power powder mix that makes 350. So that's what she has. She needs three gallons, which we said was 384 ounces. So here's what she has. Here's what she needs. Does she have enough? No, because 384 is greater than what she has, the 350. So 350 fluid ounces is less than three gallons. And then the next line, so Serena does not have enough mix to make three gallons of lemonade. So just to recap on 12.4, what you learned were the different measurements for volume, liquid volume, finding the volumes of liquids. They were gallons, quarts, pints, cups, and fluid ounces. We had a chart that showed us um, how to convert those. In other words, how many half gallons are in a gallon, how many quarts are in a gallon, and so on and so forth. And then we practiced actually converting them. So we used our chart to help us. So that's lesson 12.4. If you have any questions, just leave me a message.